Good morning, everybody. So it seems like um, we're still talking about the balloons. Um, we're still talking about the balloons. I, I will go ahead and interject on Hassan's video and then play something that I did on Facebook a couple weeks back that still is unexplained, okay? Speaking of another thing that's normal, like it's unidentified objects floating over U.S. airspace, most of the time they are balloons. You need to understand this. You know, this is another thing that happens all the time, but now it's like a main point of contention. Whether it be a Chinese surveillance balloon, whether it be a uh, weather balloon, whether it be a random person's like commercial usage balloon, America is now officially hunting season uh, for balloons, okay? It's on f***ing sight. The Department of Defense has lowered what uh, they consider to be radar trackable. Uh, back in the day, they did not uh, track anything that didn't go over 40 miles an hour. They basically opened up the filter, you know what I mean? When you go on Tinder and you change the filter of who you find, uh, who you want to match with, to like add MILFs after you watch a couple MILF Manor episodes or whatever, you know what I mean? It's the same shit, but in the other direction. They used to not track shit that, uh, that didn't go over 40 miles an hour, but now they're tracking everything. And they're really gung-ho about blowing it up. And the thing is that if you reach a certain altitude with whatever device it is you're putting in the air, you're supposed to be in communication with the local air towers and and get permission to be in that airspace. And so now that they're, um, they've realized that this is an actual threat of these balloons, well, at least we're trying to figure it out, right? Like, what is it actually happening? Um, and are they surveilling us what are they doing right it's also gonna get a lot of media coverage until it doesn't until we move on to the next thing cbs news has learned the object shot down over alaska friday looked like a metallic drum about the size of a small car the one shot down saturday over canada's yukon territory looked cylindrical and was carrying a tethered payload and a u.s official says an f-16 fired two short-range missiles to take down the object over lake huron on sunday it was shaped like an octagon with strings hanging off literally all so i think there's um actually four incidents because there was also a story that um, they picked up something on radar around montana but they couldn't make any visual confirmation of it so i think there was actually four incidents but the the fourth one might have been a false alarm balloons bro every single one of the things that they've shot are balloons everything that they're shooting are balloons I kind of hope you not wrong, not going to lie, bro. <laughs> Come on, dude. What do you think it is? Like, you legit think... Okay, so here's a good segue. This is a good segue to the video footage that I took a few weeks ago. And, um, okay. So, basically, this happened in front of my condo. And that particular direction, facing out that direction... That would have been shot up somewhere behind Saddleback Mountain. And it's, um, it's, uh, as far as I know, there is no military, uh, airfields or bases from where that would have come from because it's a little too close to me for that. Like, um, I believe the, the, um, 29 Palms is going to be further south than that. The, um, because I've had people ask me about this, the uh, uh, Andrews or Ed Edwards Air Force Base is north of me. Um, Camp Pendleton is south of me. There is nothing in that direction. And so this is why it's so strange. It, in my mind, this has to be some sort of commercial thing that happened but nobody covered it nobody covered it and um something is fucking shooting into space right now from very close to me that is nowhere near a military base this is not near a military base you guys <laughs> like where the fuck is that coming from what the hell is happening right now oh my god i i hope they cover this on the news like what the hell is happening right now they did not cover on the news let's see is it gonna is it gonna get all the way into orbit 
This is so insane. Like, I've never seen anything like this in my neighborhood before. <laughs> what the hell even? It's going straight the fuck up. It's going straight the fuck up. That is going to space. Who the hell did that? Who the hell did that? They don't know. Okay, so there's um, some stuff out in um, Palm Desert, right? But, like, that's... um, This is way closer than Palm Desert. And um, Palm Desert, as far as I know, doesn't do any sort of space work, right? They're not doing any, like... um, They're not, like... um, the the space team or whatever you know that space force or whatever that new military thing is they don't have like the actual facilities to launch things like that always happens out of um edwards andrews whatever edwards air force base that's up closer to like the jpl jet propulsion lab um up, up like up near the antelope valley and shit But this, holy shit with this. Look at this thing. I I gotta zoom out. I gotta zoom back out because it's like getting so big, right? What is going on right now? I can kind of, wait a minute. I can kind of see some sort of craft at the top of it. I can kind of see some sort of craft at the top of it. That's not fucking like air trails from a, a, a plane. That's not... What is happening? It is going over me now. It's going over me now, you guys. What incarnation is happening? This is like now directly over my condo. And it's making no sound. There's no sound related to this. can kind of make out like a shape at the beginning of it, right? Hold on, let me see if I can zoom in. Ah, oh, fuck. That's a plane, you guys. That looks like a plane. That's like a fucking plane. Is this like another Elon Musk project? going towards the Pacific Ocean. I think it probably went to like the, the early atmosphere, like kind of but it was going to lose it. It was going it, it looks like ocean. it's almost in space at this point. It looks like it's almost in space. Like it, it just disappeared. I think it just fucking disappeared. I can't, it's behind clouds now. Okay, okay, media, tell me what the fuck just happened. Okay, so that was- I'm gonna try and get this footage.
that was um, on January 12th, right? And then um, just a few weeks later, we started having all these balloon incidents, right? This was this was the um, image I was trying to share the other day, and I ended up trimming it when I when I um, ended up trimming it. How the aliens see the world. Obviously, there's something else going on here because <laughs> yeah, they're like they're like nope, just you, <laughs> just you. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. You think it's fucking aliens? Okay, it's aliens, dude. Yeah. Certainly not fucking uh, weather balloons. It's certainly not like any kind of commercial balloons, civilian balloons that like the, the government has now decided is on site for. Exactly what someone covering the aliens, covering for the aliens would say. Yeah, you're right. They weren't being maneuvered. It was basically they were being driven by the wind. You're describing a balloon. Oh, my God. When you say they're not moving... And even the fucking other balloon, because balloons do have the capability of like slight maneuvering. Okay, they can be remote controlled. Like when they say it's floating in the airspace, they're just describing a balloon. They're just using like I guess spicy language or or uh, this like. Well, yeah, because the the more recent devices, the fighter jet pilots said that there was no visible propulsion system, so. I mean, you'd have to be able to see some sort of propeller or something. Otherwise, they're relying on the jet stream. That's how it goes. Weird, neutral approach, neutral language to make it seem like it's something different, but it's just a spherical device that is floating in the airspace. A balloon. It's balloon. You're, right. you're talking about a balloon. Please. Right. Please just further elaborate. Uh, this is a balloon. You are talking about a fucking balloon. Please let everyone not forget that 2019 the Pentagon announced that they were testing mass surveillance balloons. Yeah, that was an announcement because China was also focusing on uh, balloons for spy craft. We have been using balloons for a very long time. We used them in Afghanistan. We used tethered surveillance balloons in Afghanistan. We used tethered surveillance balloons in Iraq. They literally are still there. There's one, there's a Zeppelin that is still parked in Afghanistan, right? I don't know why. Look, I, I don't know why we would use that sort of technology because, you know, like I've said in the past, I'm a lot older than Hassan. And I remember our first um, Iraq war in the early 90s and how there was footage on television of uh, um, using satellite technology. They showed a, a missile go right into a window in Iraq and that was like the big footage of see we are successfully doing what we need to do that was what was it um, Desert Storm right Desert Storm because original, originally it was um, um, like Iraqi freedom or something like that when it was just uh, staging because they didn't want to attack during one of the seasons I can't remember if it was like that they had a problem with winter or they had a problem with summer but they like were they they waited a long time for the the right season to occur before they attacked uh, because they knew which conditions would be better for the success of their mission now people do not understand this for some weird reason it just sits there menacingly that's a real thing People have been using balloons since World War I. People have used balloons for both surveillance and firebombing areas in World War II. The Japanese used balloons in, uh, uh, in World War II to attack civilian populations with air bombs or with, uh, you know, with... Well, maybe that's why they use it. If, if um, the countries are not filtering for slow-moving objects, um, maybe that's why they were using that type of technology because they figured it would be okay like it wouldn't get detected um and obviously china feels that way right except that we've turned up our filters we're like fuck that bullshit we can't have you throwing shit into our airspace where it could potentially like strike a, a commercial jetliner with firebombs from the air uh it actually ended up killing a bunch of civilians it's not even a new thing and not only that, but balloons are also pretty fucking easy to use for commercial usage, too. So that's another thing that people are not considering. 
So there are a lot of unidentified balloons and shit like that that are commercial uh, for commercial usage that are for like, you know, meteorologists and shit that's out there drifting in the space. And the American government is not. I don't know that they're really using it for meteorologists anymore, because I think most of the major um, news networks now have their own Doppler radars. So that's how they're. They, they have their own local Doppler radars to track weather patterns. Just clapping ass cheeks. Boston expert says recent flying objects shot down in the U.S. could be adversarial. The United States shot down four unidentified... What? He's the director of Boston University Center for Space Physics. He's also part of the panel researching unidentified anomalous phenomena, UAPs. The ac- oh, okay, dude, he's a kook. The panel looks at UAP objects from a nasa perspective he says pilot accounts of these most recent objects resemble uap seen by navy pilots in recent years in his opinion they're they are too small to hold the amount of gas needed for a balloon at the altitude a report from the associated press claims the objects are octagonal in nature talking about an object composed of flat facets that almost suggests to be designed to be radar stealth leads me to think terrestrial adversarial technologies we are not aware of all of this points to technologies on the cutting edge that we may not know about yet it could be technologies of our adversaries or even technologies of our own government a sort of right hand is not communicating with the left okay actually this is not a kooky response this is a very understandable response he's right i do agree i think it's literally like it is infinitely more likely that these are you know either commercial uh commercial balloons weather balloons of and and things like that or if it's truly erratic like the way it's uh, moving is truly erratic is probably some fucking technology this is the classic defense contract loop they have they have tech so good we can't even recognize it we just need to dump more money into the military industrial complex to catch up yeah theory now is and candidly they've been hinting at this for a couple of days but the theory is now that in fact these were not uh, any sort of intelligence gathering mechanism or device or balloon that the three objects shot down that we're not talking about the big balloon but the three most recently could have been commercial or maybe even uh, a university type of weather balloon or something of that nature well i think that'd be very unlikely because it seems like it would be pretty easy to trace it back to a university and for them to take credit for it why would they not take credit for it if they're doing some sort of uh, research and development operations within their universities they wouldn't be and it's become a national scandal they wouldn't be silent about this. Oh my God, how shocking. The only part of this entire story that I truly don't understand is why China sent a weather balloon or a surveillance balloon, whatever it is, a surveillance spy balloon over U.S. territory like that. Like sending it over the Philippines, sending it to like even Hawaii, which they have done uh, allegedly in the past. That kind of stuff kind of makes sense. But like mainland U.S., the fuck are you doing? It defeats the... Posturing. Trying to freak out the American people. Posturing. Trying to get into your head. And obviously they're living there rent-free right now for all of us. Because, because they were able to pull this off. Purpose of espionage. Or maybe it's just like they know. They know that Americans are going to react in this unhinged manner. You know? And they were just like, fuck it, YOLO. Let's see. Let's see how they behave. Right. 10 balloons have flown over Chinese airspace since 2020. China says at least 10 balloons have flown over its airspace since 2022. It probably was a non-issue before the U.S. wanted the ratchet of the war rhetoric. Yeah, most likely. I mean, it's not even a non-issue. It's just like a thing that happens. It's like espionage. This is actually different than espionage because like for the most part, you can you can gather. In, you, there are better ways of gathering information. <laughs> are you watching my videos? <laughs> I, I said that on one of my videos that it's like corporate espionage. <laughs> you watching my videos this one? <laughs> Asian than a fucking spy balloon. Cessna planes are, uh, from what I understand at least, uh, one of the more favored methods of the U.S. government. Like low flying Cessna planes. Everybody knows that governments are spying on each other. Okay, everybody knows that that's happening. There are unspoken rules and boundaries. Yeah, it's it's kind of like what I talked about before. A lot of chatters don't know this, but. Russia and the United States communicate their flight patterns every day. Right. Like they tell, they they are constantly in contact with. Well, and on top of that, let me remind everybody that uh, one of the big controversial things about COVID was that the U.S. was helping fund research at the Wuhan lab, right? 
Um, so it's not like we are not, don't have partnerships across the globe with various countries to, um, to help fund research, to advance, you know, technology for humankind, right? And so if this was an actual scientific project, it wouldn't have been shot down because we already have a good working relationship with China in regards to research. With one another. And they are actively telling uh, each other where their planes are going. Like they're, they're uh, not commercial, but I'm talking uh, military uh, aircraft are going. It's normal. This is how, this is how warring nations do uh, things. Okay. Even if they are engaging in a uh, proxy battle, they don't want the Russians to shoot down an American plane and then create an international uh, create an international incident, which is why the only reason these things are getting shot down is because they're unmanned. They know that there's not going to be any loss of life. And so whatever posturing is going on right now, they're like, fuck this bullshit. You're inter you're interrupting our airspace. You're interrupting our commercial flight patterns by doing this. I told you the same thing with like China and America, China and America also are communicating their uh, flight patterns in a similar, similar capacity. They didn't send it. It just followed the wind perfectly. American hobbyists and meteorologists backtraced its path based on the wind currents, and it came from mainland China without any altitude adjustments or directional inputs. Whoever launched it probably just lo lost control of it. That could be the case. It could also be that, like, they were embarrassed to admit that, so they didn't want to fucking say that it was a spy balloon that, like, went astray or something like that. That would also make sense. And then they're like, oh, yeah, let's, uh, that's why we need to recover it. Please give it to us. Yeah, it just conveniently flew over military silos. Brother, that's literally like saying, oh, conveniently, another police brutality story happened today. Or, oh, conveniently, another mass shooting story happened today. Look at you covering it. It's America, brother. Of course there are fucking military silos. There's military silos everywhere. I don't know if you know this, but we have military base. By the way, I just, I love how um, the conspiracy theorists are out there saying, oh, well, they must be sending balloons to distract us from the train derailment in Ohio, right? The balloons were coming long before that train derailed. These are completely different stories. The train derailment was 100% because of Trump's legislation, um, making it less safe for these trains um, to be out there. And um, the train itself has been reported as um, it being a known a uh, difficult train that had problems uh, from rail workers. We just had the, the problem with the rail workers not getting their sick pay and they're understaffed. These are completely separate issues. But of course, conspiracy theorists are like, you know, pulling the, the whole um, it's sunny in Philadelphia picture of Charlie with his, his string and, and connections and... <laughs> Like, not everything is related at all times. Yes, we have an environmental disaster, but it's not related to the balloon shit. Is all around the planet, okay? Like, and, and certainly a lot of silos and bases in, in bumfuck middle America, too. You can't avoid it. Like, what are you talking about? Debris is always in that airspace regarding UFO sightings going back to the 50s. There's just random stuff there up, up there sometimes. I just don't understand where the fuck is coming from. I don't understand where, like, why the fuck this happened to begin with. I still don't understand it. But I do understand why it became a big deal. And I do understand the DOD reacting to that big fucking deal. Right. To, to you know, show the rest of America how much they care about protecting their airspace. They uh, lowered the radar tracking uh, restrictions, like the, the radar tracking threshold. And now they're going to start shooting, like, every fucking random drone and, and balloon that's up there. A lot of them are going to be like this, though. They're going to be like commercial shit. They're going to be weather balloons. Meteorologists think the ones shot down in Alaska. I have it on good intelligence that if you have a drone, like, say, for the media, um, that you actually have to be licensed to put that thing up in the air. So there are regulations around, like, how you actually fly things in the air. If you're going to go to a certain altitude, you're going to be responsible for communicating with air towers, period. Um, you know, you could probably get away with like the low level flying drones, you know, the, the, the little toy drones 
that I've seen flying around my own neighborhood, which is really weird and freaky, but I don't know, y'all and your toys. Is ours. Uh, I back forecast the latest balloon shot down in Alaska. Based on location and time, it tracks back to near the Kotzebue NWS Roman Sunday site. Did we shoot down an NWS weather balloon? There's no data for the 12Z launch from that site, and all the rest worked. The U.S. Air Force either shot down the 12Z weather balloon from Kotzebue, uh, or bear with me here, they shot down a little tiny spaceship from planet Small Roxia. I'm seriously leaning toward our weather balloon, and it's pretty well supported with the balloon optimization high split. It's a weird situation because it's Chinese, right? Um, the American government could have just said, hey, it's a weather balloon. We're communicating with the Chinese government, even if it's not, by the way. And we're going to try to take it down. We're going to try to take it down gently. Or just blow it up, obviously, when it's over the water and recover it. Uh, and then fucking, uh, what's his face? Blinken went to China and talked to Xi Jinping and all this shit. We wouldn't have this, like, mass panic around every fucking balloon that flies into the U.S. airspace that the American government doesn't immediately know is a weather balloon. Yeah, it's just like, it does seem like it's escalating tensions and, and you know, trying to whip the whip the people up in, in this fear against, like, Chinese incursions. The first balloon that they shot was Chinese. China recognized that it was Chinese. China even said that it's our balloon. Please give it to us. <laughs> Please right. give it back to us, which I thought was funny. So right. that one is true. The other ones are most likely American and commercial, for the record. That's like that. that they're not UFOs. They're most well, they're def definitely like different technology. But <clears throat> I don't think that we can make the assumption that the that they are commercial or american uh, because i think it'd be unlikely for any commercial ven ventures to try and put stuff up into our airspace right after this the chinese spy balloon was shot down don't you think the timing would be really off for commercial enterprises to try and risk that i mean there could be all kinds of lawsuits around doing something like that after, like I, I just i find that unlikely however <clears throat> What y'all keep seem to forgetting is that um, Kim Jong Un just had a military parade for his daughter, who he unveiled to the world, and it is um, presumed that she might be his successor because he apparently has more children than like we didn't even know he had children, right? And um, he likes to do shit like this, he likes to raise his missiles like he's raising his dick. He likes to do missile tests and, and fuck with Japan and, and, and South Korea, right? So you can't just naturally jump to the conclusion that it's commercial. I think it'd be very unlikely to be commercial because of the particular circumstances around the first balloon. It would be unlikely for commercial enterprises to try and risk something like that immediately after the Chinese spy balloon was shot down. Now, it could be China. It could be North Korea. It's something on that side, though, because of the direction of the jet stream that these devices are taking, right? So they have to be getting shot up some somewhere on the east side of the Pacific Ocean. Um, that's where they have to be launching from in order to get into the jet stream and then float the current over Alaska and over um, Canada and over the U.S. Most likely just balloons. They're either weather balloons or there's some other like commercial balloons or, you know, a hobbyist, dude. Like you could literally... You could throw up a UAV or, or, or a balloon like that by yourself. No, this is pretty advanced technology, Hassan. I, I think it's really highly unlikely. Unless like every billionaire in the world right now is just having fun in the sky. I find that highly unlikely. It's not that it's not even that expensive. I was talking about this earlier today and chatters were like, that's not true. It didn't happen. It did. There's unidentified objects that fly and even like try to try to surveil U.S. sites, whether it be a weather balloon or even a spy balloon or whatever, and we have shot them down before. The only difference is you now are hearing about it because everyone is, like, freaking the fuck out. I think we need to address the fact that the F-22 missed the target, yet we never seem to miss foreign neighborhoods overseas, or that's what they say when they do miss the target. Also, 
when F-22s miss targets overseas, they still blow up. But when F-22s miss targets, uh, you know, in the United States of America, they uh, land gently into Lake Huron. The U.S. is frustrated with the lack of uh, retaliation from China for all of its provocations, so they're resorting to shit like acting like adrift balloons are a national security rig- risk. Xinjiang didn't take. The Pelosi stunt didn't take. They're running out of credible threats for a nation that is intentionally not escalating tension. Pelosi stunt? Yeah, I... I, I wait, wait yeah. what? The Pelosi stunt? What's the Pelosi stunt? Are you talking about her husband being attacked by a hammer? By a dude with a hammer? I mean, all that footage has been released. It's pretty clear that it was a home invasion robber who wanted to kill Nancy Pelosi. What do you mean the... Oh, I can't even. I don't know. I don't know why uh, the the Chinese government didn't do more to be like, yo, there's a fucking balloon coming your way. Sorry. Oopsie. It's not on purpose if they wanted to de-escalate tensions, though. China cares so much about... Is this the kind of crowd we work with that they just, like, distrust every story that they see? That they they just they don't think um, our political leaders are actually human beings, and that they face dangers and fears, and that I mean, look, they, you might not agree with them politically, but they are still human beings. Fuck's sake! Oh my god! Oh, China does definitely actively take a um, a more conciliatory tone towards the the hegemonic superpower. I don't think that they are in favor of the tension. As critical as I am of China, I do not believe that they uh, value tension, uh, global tension against them, in the same way that America does. I don't think so. Like, we- I disagree with you there. I think China messes with people's heads all the time. I think that they have all of their, their own um, controversial military problems of, of fights that they're having with Taiwan, fights... Uh, over absorbing Hong Kong back into the nation. They, they've they had their own um, issues with internal um, protesters that they are not treating humanely. Like, they, the company I worked for was a security and identity company. China was hitting our servers 30 to 40,000 times a day trying to hack us. We had specific training about corporate espionage and how the Chinese were trying to invade companies like us to to gain our secrets, which is why I have never signed up for TikTok. We do it for a very specific reason. We do it because we make money. We whip up support from the public. We justify additional funds reaching uh, the military industrial complex. And ultimately, we go to war, and war is very good. As you know, the Chinese just said the U.S. has sent 10 spy balloons over China. I assume the United States does. I'm going to call it right now. We're not going to war with China. Not going to happen. We've done a lot to maintain our relations with China. They get weird and difficult with us, and we have to, you know, shake our finger at them once in a while. But um, we're not going to fucking go to war with China, you guys. Bye. On China, do we send balloons? We do not. Do- ah, why? This is so dumb. Yeah, we definitely don't. I mean, if they don't, it's probably because it's not the best way to, it's not the best method of surveillance, because it can be intercepted, because it's not like these balloons have a lot of, they don't not they do not have a high degree of maneuverability, okay? That's a big issue. So it's not necessarily a great way to do it, but you can just do I'm gonna say the same thing that I said when I was analyzing Andrea's video. They the the Eastern Hemisphere messes with people like this. Putin sent a drone into his opposition candidates conference like he was speaking. He sent a drone with a dick on it. To fly around the room. They do this to just mess with your head. You can you can you can spy with other methods. And do we spy over China? We do not deploy server surveillance balloons over China, George. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Wait, George, wait. I assume the United States does spy on China. Do we send balloons? We do not deploy surveillance balloons over China. And do we spy over China? 
We do not deploy server surveillance balloons over China, George. John. Kirk. I mean, he's not. He does, I don't even think he needs to like tell the truth. Like, well, I mean, because he, he doesn't need to explicitly state that we're using our satellites because everybody fucking knows it anyway. Let's be real, and I will never believe it. But it's just so stupid. I mean, of course we spy on China, man. What are you fucking stupid? Like, it would literally be like negligence if the American government wasn't doing it. It exactly. would be weirder if we weren't spying on China, but we're spying on every other nation on the planet. Come on, man. Jesus Christ. So the very fact that he says, oh, we're not using balloons over China is more of a flex, in my opinion. Like he's saying, yeah, we're fuck." Of course. No, because the specific argument here is, are we entering their airspace? And we're not doing that. We're not putting any floating devices into their airspace. We're not flying our um, jets over them because these would be things that would be entering their airspace. We're using our satellites. We're fucking spying, just not using balloons. And by the way, having said that, we could be using balloons too. Who gives a shit? I, I wouldn't be surprised if they're using balloons as well. Let's bring in former CIA, CIA deputy director and CBS News senior national security contributor Michael Morrell, who joins us now. Yeah, I love hearing from the former CIA deputy director, dude. Dude, th this motherfucker has way too nice of a house to be like some government spook. You know what I mean? What's up with this? Why are they so high paid, dude? If the government wants to fucking cut costs somehow okay here here is a guy whose salary should not be so high to be fair though i mean he, he most likely got rich off of not his work at the cia but uh you know all the stuff that he did in the corporate world after but and then finally i think there may be a military purpose we can't discount that they may be considering that should we ever go to war that this might be a way to deliver weapons bro that is the dumbest way to deliver weapons <laughs> guys Guys, the Chinese are testing our defense capabilities by sending a three school bus sized fucking balloon that has incredibly limited, if any, maneuverable, uh, maneuverability. It objectively is more sane to think that they're flexing than to think that this right. is like a, a valid and valuable way to test America's, like, defense capabilities. Are they going to start sending messages via Pigeon next to... Oh, wait, no. This is, like, this is... Uh, hold that. Two? Yep, uh, <laughs> I mean... This is, um, yeah, I mean, it's it, that would be a ridiculous way to actually try and conduct warfare. They are literally trying to create ghost stories for us. They're trying to just like get into our heads and be like, we're going to scare, scare you. <laughs> With this dumbass balloons. <laughs> it's working too. Look at, look at how many people are talking about it. Like it's so, totally, it's so totally working, right? Technically, pigeons would be a better way to, uh, to to send communication. It's not a reliable way to do it. But at least it would be more secret than a fucking balloon. Can't forget that the Japanese sent nearly 10,000 balloons toward the United States during World War II that carried incendiary devices. Yeah, China, our global competitor. Okay. Japan did this during World War II, right? So we're talking the 40s? <laughs> Like 80 years back. <laughs> it's fucking 80 years ago, right? <laughs> they're like... They're like, like I said on the other video, China is way behind us in technology, you guys. <laughs> is utilizing World War II era technology that Japan was using right? to hurt American <laughs> citizens. Motherfucker, they got TikTok, man. That's it. They don't need nothing else. They got TikTok. They're already doing permanent, not even them specifically, but they're already getting us to do permanent brain damage to ourselves. American institutions and like wanton corruption and a lack of interest in like putting the pro uh, putting the interests of citizens over uh, profits kills more Americans every day than a fucking Chinese uh, firebomb from a balloon. Okay. Like, the Japanese uh, air bombs that he's talking about killed six people. Do you think that that's a dub? Police kill six people on an off day sometimes, man. The fuck do you mean? We kill more people ourselves every day. 
If China wants to watch America crumble, all they need to do is kick their feet back on the table and watch, okay, from afar. Uh, one of the things you hear, right, is that they might not be getting um, any more intelligence from these balloons than they get from their spy satellites. But I think we can't assume that their spy satellites are as good as ours. So, yeah, our enemy is both strong and we... Well, no, consider, consider that everybody in the world is well aware of the QAnon phenomenon that's happening in in america and how fucking gullible americans are at this point right so it's going to be really fucking easy to mess with the heads of a lot of americans and all you have to do is something stupid like this like what the fuck is that <laughs> they're really strong there's a balloon gap we need more money but don't worry they're also very weak uh, all the money that you've given us is obviously objectively a success I love that. Um, Nate, um, nobody should be surprised that both countries spy on each other. It is pretty funny that, like, even the CIA director is like, yeah, of course everybody's spying on everybody. But, like, when I bring that up, I feel like Sock Them Twitter or, like, Natsake Twitter is like, what? No? Uh, the American <laughs> government said they don't spy on China, stupid. They don't send weather balloons over there. Shut the fuck up. We would never do that. <laughs> like. Well, I mean. We're, we're probably not going to use weather balloon technology. I think that'd be really unlikely unless we were trying the same tactic of trying to mess with their heads. But like I said in the other video, where would we launch them from? We don't have any friendly nations on the east side of China where we could actually get permission from their governments to like start launching shit like that. And there have been no complaints from neighboring countries of balloon activity. Um, China hasn't said that they've seen us like come in with any planes to launch these balloons. Like the it doesn't add up that we would actually be able to get the jet flow in order to float it only over China, not over Russia as well or or other neighboring countries. Like like it just doesn't make sense that there would be no other reports of American activity in that region. That's what I'm saying. Like, like consider it from a logical perspective, you know?